What's going on everybody? Hope your day is good. Today we're going to talk about Tubi and movies that are on the leaving soon list. If you haven't seen these movies, it's going to be your last chance to see them before they're out of rotation. So, let's get into it. First on the list is the film 1984, based on George Orwell's novel. 1984 is a British dystopian film written and directed by Michael Radford. John Hurt portrays a government employee whose job involves the rewriting of history, casting his country's leaders in a charitable light in order, in accordance with the dictates of the party of Oceania and its supreme leader, Big Brother. While it doesn't live up to the masterpiece upon which it was adapted, it achieves faithfulness to the novel's weighty subject matter. It possesses solid acting performances, but has slow pacing in places. Not the best film, but to me it's an essential watch, especially if, if you haven't seen it. Especially if you haven't read the book to learn terminology such as The Four Ministries, Double Think, and Big Brother. Rotten Tomatoes audience score gives it a 71% and 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb. Definitely gets a thumbs up from me, so check it out. 1984. 1984 leaves to be on January 31st. Next on the list is Schindler's List. Released in 1993, Schindler's List stars Liam Neeson and is based on the 1982 non-fiction novel Schindler's Ark, written by Thomas Keneally. The film takes place in 1962 Tel Aviv, Israel, and follows a German industrialist who saves more than a thousand Polish Jewish refugees from the Holocaust during World War II. Rotten Tomatoes gives this movie an audience score rating of 97% and IMDb gives it an 8.9. Either way you go, it's still a definitive classic film. This cinematic masterpiece leaves to be also on January 31st. Next on the list is I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, a black exploitation parody and comedy from 1988. It's comparable and on par to spoof comedies like The Naked Gun and Spaceballs. I'm Gonna Get You Sucker has an all star cast with players such as Keenan Ivory Williams, John Witherspoon, Bernie Casey, and Antonio Farkas, delivering funny one liners and goofy Vargas plays the character Fly Guy and was also in the movie Superfly from 1971, which you can see on HBO Max. I'm sure a lot of us have all seen this movie hundreds of times, but if you want to check it out one more time, this movie leaves to be on January 31st. Next on the list is the Species series. A crew of scientists and government agents try to track down a seductive, extra, a seductive extraterrestrial human hybrid before she, she, before she successfully mates with a human male. This series has films spanning from 1995 to 2007. The movies leaving are Species 1 from 1995, Species 2 from 1998, and Species 3 from, from 2004, and Species 4, The Awakening from 2007. It was created by Dennis Feldman and was originally conceived and pitched as a police film called The Message in 1987. The original was directed by Ronald Johnson and the practical models for the film had been collaborated on by H.R. Giger and Steve Johnson. The series gets low audience scores on Rotten Tomatoes, but the original has a 5.8 on IMDb. Metacritic reviews, however, say different, with posts from fans acclaiming it as a great and first-rate sci-fi thriller, with no negative reviews there on its website. Featuring Bing Kingsley as Xavier Fitch and Michael Madsen as Preston Press Lennox. I saw the first one, I thought it was alright. 
very scary looking alien spawns. The Species movie series also leaves to be on January 31st. Next film on the list is a classic horror movie from 1987 called The Believers, directed by John Schlesinger. Martin Sheen portrays Cal Jameson, a New York psychiatrist who discovers that a Manhattan elite Santi Santarian, Santarian inspired cult. Manhattan elite Santorian inspired cult wants to use his son as a sacrifice. The movie synopsis states that the cult it's Bruharian inspired, but I don't see it in the film. It was based off of a novel entitled The Religion by Nicholas Conde. Fans of the movie pro proclaim it as an underrated and Fans of the movie proclaim it as underrated, and some don't like it, with the Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 45% and an IMDb score of 6.1 out of 10. However, the plot device consists of voodoo worship amongst Manhattan elites, so it should be pretty scary and entertaining. <clears throat> the acting isn't terrible, but the cover makes the movie seem more scary than it actually is. It's worth it though to watch that ritual scene towards the end. I give the scene a thumbs up for its similarity to real life. The Believer's Horror Movie leaves to be on January 31st. Next on the list for leaving Tubi are the first three movies from the Sleepaway Camp series. Sleepaway Camp 1, 2, and 3. The original was released in 1983. It is a, it's a cool little slasher film about a psychotic chick that slaughters dozens of teenage campers. Some arguably, some argue Sleepaway Camp 3 is the better of the series being the perfect follow-up to Sleepaway Camp 2, which along with Sleepaway Camp 3 are arguably the better movies. The Sleepaway Camp franchise primarily focuses on transgender serial killer Angela Baker and the murders that she commits, largely at summer camps. Robert Hiltzik directed both the original 1983 film and Return to Sleepaway Camp, while Michael A. Simpson oversaw Sleepaway Camp 2 and Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland. I saw the first one and I give it a thumbs up. Haven't seen the other twos yet. The Sleepaway Camp movies also leaves to be on January 31st. Next movie on the list is The Last Days in the Desert from 2015 or 16. Ewan McGregor's portrayal of the Lord Jesus Christ. Reviews are mixed as usual on everything, so it goes without being said. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 45% and I am gives it a flat of point six. Some people will say that they didn't really care for it. Other reviews say that it's disappointing and the pacing is way too slow. However, they do get his Hebrew name correct in the film, so there's that. I can appreciate an actor's passion to do certain roles, but my favorite Jesus movie is Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth with Robert Power. However, do want to see it, Last Days in the Desert is also leaving to be on January 31st. Next on the list is Robot Wars from 1993. Here's a movie that is critiqued as grindy with a weak plot line. A lot of reviewers have said you'd be better off watching Robot Jocks as far as the stop motion animation goes. The robot creatures look pretty cool. However, we only get to see them for like three seconds at a time. Some of the reviews I read on Tomatoes are pretty legit. The movie is nothing spectacular, but if you're into old school science fiction from the 90s, you can mark, mark it off your checklist. There is an interesting cameo appearance, though, by Yuji Okumoto. Yuji Okumoto, playing the character Chu Sing. Yuji is also the actor that played the character Chosen in Karate Kid and in Cobra Kai as Daniel Russo's former rival, but now ally. The 
movie was released from Full Moon Entertainment and was produced by the well-known Charles Band. There is no date on this, so you might want to go watch it soon if you're interested. It can go at any time. Next movie on the Leaving Soon list is The New Republic from 2011. I placed this movie on here because of the description of the synopsis. As much as I follow truth and conspiracy, conspiracy narratives, the feeling of a journalist running from shadow government type grabbed my attention. It doesn't have a very good score on IMDb and there are literally no reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Also doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, so it must not be very good. My searches for it have been bringing up the New Republic magazine with Obama on the cover. I'll probably have to force myself to watch it, but I'm going to watch this movie to see if I can find anything interesting. Clues or symbolism. New Republic leaves to be on February 2nd. Last movie's on the list and has my highest recommendation is the Man With No Name Trilogy or The Dollars Trilogy. Featuring Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef, and Eli Wallach. This is the definitive epic spaghetti western, and it's a must see. Directed by Italian director and producer Sergio Leone. The three movies you want to search for are a, fifth, a Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Leone also directed Western movie. Western movie. Duck, You Sucker from 1971. I've seen all three of these and I give them three thumbs up all the way. Highly, highly recommend this movie. Rotten Tomatoes audience score above 90% and IMDb has them all at 8.0 and above with Good, Bad, and the Ugly at 8.8 out of 10 on IMDb. The Man with No Name trilogy also leaves to be on January 31st. So that's it. Those are my top picks for movies leaving soon on Tubi. What do you guys think? Have you seen these movies and are you going to? What do you think of Tubi lately? Let me know in the comments. This is James. That's all for today. Have a good one. Later.